Donald Trump has said some pretty crazy and dystopian stuff over the years, but we now have a new leaked clip where Trump got caught saying something that is outright disqualifying. So we'll play that leaked clip and talk about it here in a second, but first, I want to show you some moments from his rally in New York last night because he said some pretty crazy stuff there as well. So let's take a look at those, and then I'll show you that new leaked clip. And the reason I'm here is because it hasn't been done in many decades. It hasn't been done for a long time, but we are going to win New York. Said to our great first lady, who can draw a crowd? Did you watch me tonight on television, first lady? People love our first lady out there. Go out and get a book. She just wrote a book. I hope she said good things about it. I don't know. I didn't. So busy. She just wrote a book called Melania. Go out and buy it. It's great. And if she says bad things about me, I'll call you all up and I'll say, don't buy it. Get rid of it. No, but when I imitated Joe Biden because he couldn't get off the stage, so I'd imitate him because he couldn't find the stairs and look around. He finished the speech, which would last, the speech would last maybe three minutes, maybe a little less than that. And then he want to get off the stage and it always remember, it always go like this. But you remember, we're not running against him, we're running against somebody who's actually much worse. Ready? And he'd go like this. Huh. And then he'd walk. Now spared my life, it must have been. God, thank you. Not once, but twice. And there are those that say he did it because Trump is going to turn this state around. He's going to turn this country around. He's going to make America great again. And maybe. And by the way, the Hispanic support. Do we have any Hispanics? The Hispanic support is off the charts, and they don't know what the hell to do about it. It's off the charts. And we just had some great polling come out. I think the most accurate poll over the last eight or nine years was Rasmussen. They just came out with a poll that we're five up. We're five up. Tonight, let me also deliver a message straight to Kamala Harris. Have you heard of her? who, by the way, was just rated by far the most liberal senator in the U.S. Senate, more so even further left than Bernie Sanders and Pocahontas. And so I say to the people of New York, with crime at record levels, with terrorists and criminals pouring in, and with inflation eating your hearts out, Vote for Donald Trump. What the hell do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? So now that we've seen the crazy stuff that Trump was spewing last night, let's take a look at this new leaked clip that is something that we should never hear from a presidential candidate. Are we close to seeing uh, Mr. Kim here at the White House? Uh, could happen. I mean, they talked yeah, about that yesterday. I would, with I, would the happen, yeah, I think it's something that could happen. Yeah. Hey. He's the head of a country, and I mean, he is the strong head. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone think anything different. Right. He speaks and his people sit up at attention. I want my people to do right. the same. Well, yeah, you heard that right. Donald Trump wants the American people to stand at attention like the North Koreans have to do for Kim Jong-un. Donald Trump is clearly envious of what Kim Jong-un has. And in other words, he wants to be just like Kim Jong-un. No presidential candidate should ever be looking up to a dictator and wanting what that dictator has. 
That should tell you everything that you need to know about Donald Trump. And if that does not terrify you, then just move to North Korea at that point. If Trump gets elected for a second term, he is going to do everything that he can to become a dictator. He has said that directly, and he's done and said things that indicate that as well. And if people think, oh, he doesn't actually want to be a dictator, he just wants to be president, I would point them to the video clip that we just watched. He wants people to obey him and look up to him, even if they're forced to, because if they don't, they will be killed on the spot. Donald Trump does not have the best interests of everyday Americans in mind. He only wants to become a dictator. So if you don't want that to happen, make sure you get out and vote this November.